Hi, I'm, my name's Guy Coppich. I'm Chief Executive of People's Voice Media. People's Voice Media is a community development organisation that uses social media for community engagement and supports people to have a voice, and that rages community and individual aspirations. Uh, we're doing lots of work with housing associations, in particular working with hard-to-reach hard to groups, people who are disabled or out of work or unemployed or even younger people, people who are generally marginalised and excluded. We put together a whole set of clips just to show you the sorts of things that we do. This is Shepway Court in Winton. The tenants here have decided to have a chippy lunch on a Friday. Lovely. <laughs> what did you have for your lunch, Agnes? I had a fish and a pancake. First of all, I'm very grateful that the residents of Kemble House have chosen to play the caring uh, in our church hall. We welcome everyone from the local area to come and use the hall for uh, whatever reason will bring people together. I think everybody has fun and I think that's good and I think people mix with each other and I think that's good as well. If people have got somewhere to go where they don't feel marginalised, I think really it's very, very good. People's Voice Media set up a uh, community reporters course here for our clients um, and we're running a course each week for clients to come in and learn about blogging, um, media techniques, interviewing and communication skills. Kind of had an impact on some of the other courses that were being run and clients who weren't necessarily on the community reporters course had some input into the films that were being made and being put on the websites. It was a small group and it developed uh, quite quickly. They developed a good rapport. Um, they were doing filming activities within Victoria House, but they also took field trips outside into the community um, and to the BBC and other places like that. And were developing um, specific skills in relation to um, the media side of things, but also interpersonal skills and communication skills as well. Um, I'm expecting something that I've never seen the likes of before. Uh, an absolutely marvellous two hours. Excellent. I've loved it. I enjoyed it from start to finish. Oh. I absolutely enjoyed myself. It was better than what I thought it was going to be. It, you know, the, the group um, was a really good dynamic group. The tutor um, understood the needs of the group. It was a very nurturing, safe group. They were dealing with potentially sensitive issues in the sense that they were talking about people's pasts and life stories, which can be for some traumatic. Um, but it was handled with sensitivity and with compassion. How did I end up homeless? Well, I got divorced, I lost my job. One thing led to another, I ended up in debt. I got evicted from one house where I was living. Most of our clients um, are coming from disadvantaged backgrounds and won't necessarily have had access to um, computer systems or at least not kind of regular access to computer systems. And as I say, because computers are increasingly more important in our day-to-day -day lives, um, the chance to use use computers in a practical way and the chance to gain skills means that those skills can be transferred into other aspects of life. It can be anything from um, registering a complaint with a, with a current landlord, for example, which can be done online, um, to putting in a bid for a property, which is important for people in temporary accommodation, or just maintaining contact with family and friends through emails um, or through setting up their own blogs. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's very important, I think, for people who are sometimes a bit marginalised and kind of on the sides of society to, to be able to be given the opportunity to access the new technologies. I really hope you found the, the work that we've been doing with housing associations informative and useful. Please get in touch and we can explore ways that we can work with you. Thank you.